Sparta. 41 ABC's Alexa Rodriguez joins us from the site of its new facility with more on the $4 million investment. You see this green stuff that's on the water behind me? Well, that's basically what Duckweed USA considers a gold mine. The company's CEO fell in love with Sparta when he came here about three years ago for a business trip. Now he wants to recreate this facility and use that duckweed to create biofuel. He's also going to be giving some of the money back to the city. His plans are to basically jumpstart Sparta again. When you come into Hancock, it says Hancock, the hidden jewel of Georgia. The county's residents know it, the city's mayor knows it, and now Duckweed USA knows it. Finally, you know, I'm looking at my future to be very secure. Hancock County is commonly known as one of the poorest in the state. All of our factory jobs going offshore, uh, the furniture factory closing, the wood yards closing, this, this brings hope. Duckweed USA will use the city's wastewater treatment plant to create biofuel. The CEO plans to invest $4 million and give the city one-third of its profits. I made a promise to the mayor, and it's taken me almost three years to fulfill it, but that was that I wouldn't take any money from the city. We would get this done without taking money away from a city that needed help. Residents are calling Duckweed USA's project a blessing. I look forward to the next two or three years just seeing Sparta just 360 flip the opportunity for my children to be able to um, do something bioeconomic. You know, I think it's just wonderful. A chance for a struggling city to regain its footing, all thanks to a little green plant. The plan is to create about 8 to 12 jobs during the initial phase, about 50 jobs by the end of this year, and about 250 within the next five years. Reporting in Sparta, Alexa Rodriguez, 41 NBC News. The company is hoping to partner with Middle Georgia Universities to offer more opportunities to students. GBI agents are looking.